My name is Leonard Gans, and 77 years ago, I was born in Brooklyn, New York. I guess I have to go back approximately nine years. I went for a regular semi-annual checkup, and at that checkup, my doctor suggested that I see a prostate specialist. It was determined that I had some sort of a blockage in my ureter. What it turned out to be was a urothelial cancer. And the result of that, Roberta and I started to learn about the options open to us. We decided on surgery. The position of the tumor within my ureter was uh, centralized between my bladder and my kidney, so they couldn't resect. We had a wonderful doctor who uh, was able to ablate a lot of the blockage. I continued to go for CAT scans and ablations and whatever for a long period of time. After that, I developed a small nodule on the tip of my right lung. My reaction to the diagnosis was shocked. It had been so many years of no change in my situation and it's not like I wasn't being monitored, I was being monitored regularly. It just appeared. We were told that that was in fact a metastasis of the original urothelial cancer to my lung. We had that excised, I guess for at least seven or eight years, there was no issue whatsoever. And then at a regular checkup, which, which at that point was annually, something was discovered on the uh, scar line of where I had had my lung surgery and another growth had appeared. My cancer, which was very small at the time, did not shrink at all. Fortunately, I guess it did not grow either. So at that point in time, they, they deemed the chemo ineffective. And my oncologist, based on his analysis of what had happened to my tumor, uh, recommended that I apply for the clinical trial for Keytruda that had been going on for years, but had never been tested for the particular tumor that I had. And so I was fortunate enough to get into that trial the reason that Dr. Bajuran thought that we would be a wonderful candidate for this particular clinical trial was because the, the mutational load on my cancer was so high that it exceeded anything that they had seen before. The protocol uh, has me taking uh, CT scans every two months and Dr. Klebanoff is just overwhelmed by how positively I'm responding to the Keytruda. The trial itself was only 35 people, five each from seven different uh, hospitals across the country. So I was extremely fortunate to have been admitted to it. At the beginning, of course, there was no pandemic, there was no COVID issue, but as far as the clinical trial is concerned, it's been rather amazing. I'm treated the same way, I'm brought in, it's just, Everything is socially distanced and uh, the people at the hospital are just wonderful. There have been times that it's truly uh, challenging. I won't say that I don't concern myself with it emotionally, but I also know that there are things in life that are in your control and things that are outside your control. And I'm convinced that we have been doing everything in our control to deal with our situation as well as we're able to. I couldn't be more supportive of continued research, continued clinical trials, and my wife and I are very thankful and supportive of all of those efforts. There's nothing more important than for Congress to continue to fund to the greatest extent possible all of these efforts because so many strides have been made. I myself have gone through five different cancers. I told you about the prostate and the urothelial. I didn't tell you that I developed bladder cancer. I told you about lung cancer and I've had melanomas. And so what you hope for is that advances continue to be made.